This is a simple comparison of grip using a tuning fork and a dirty sheet of Gambler Outlaw, our My Match Blade, which was used last night and again today for filming. So that's about four hours since it's last been cleaned on a 729 all round blade and a wet dishcloth. The tuning fork is placed in line with the handle on the surface of the dirty Gambler Outlaw, like so. The Outlaw, by the way, is about four weeks old. And now the blade's just pivoted, and we'll see what angle the tuning fork slides off the surface of the rubber. There you go, not bad. And now using the wet dishcloth, I just wipe it clean. That's just tap water on there. Like so. And you can see the water glistening on the rubber surface. And now I'm going to leave it for a few minutes to dry naturally. Okay, and now you can see on the surface the water's evaporated. Nice and clean. And I'm going to repeat the test, putting the tuning fork back in line with the handle, like so. After comparison, I'm going to show you the angle at which the tuning fork slipped off the dirty sheet of Outlaw. And it's just coming up to that now. Still going. I'm having to turn my wrist round now. And eventually, the tuning fork falls off rather than slides off the clean sheet of Outlaw. So if anyone's wondering, Cleaning your rubbers regularly can result in better performance.